Hello, this is Charles Bigley again. Uh, this is podcast week three, and uh, what I would like you to do, like to do, is to take you on a tour of the Traumatology Institute. But particularly, I want to point out some strategies in self care, uh, which is going to the going to the website and finding the uh, what the uh, forty one page uh, manuscript that we're giving you free, thanks largely to my wife Kathy. Regan Figley. Uh, so anyway, we'll get to that. But um, yeah, I want to, uh, yeah, this is uh, Wednesday, um, the 8th of November, uh, 2017. I got some feedback about that and a few other things and a, a few questions. So you know, most of the questions are really covered here. Or I'll cover it next week. So this is the uh, Traumatology Institute. It is simply going to uh, Tulane Traumatology Institute.com. And uh, when you get there, uh, notice this is home. Notice uh, Help the Helper. This is our Help the Helper initiative. You can't read backwards, but the idea is that um, in all of the traumatic events that have happened, uh, including those recently with the, uh, the small town in Texas, um, we can't really fit in help adequately everybody, but what we could focus on are those people that are helping. And that means family members, but it especially means social workers, psychologists, uh, disaster workers, that sort of thing. So when you go to this page, Help the Helper, you'll find there's where the uh, videos are. This one will be right there probably at week three. But I want to call your attention to the self-care toolkit and um, you're able to download it from here. So um, you see that there's a forward and, um, but here's a table of contents. Again, you can't read backwards, but it's chapter one introduction. It discusses the owner's manual, you, <laughs> in terms of your body. Resilience to secondary trauma and what that's all about. And then a time activity, uh, part one uh, and two, enables you to sort of walk through your life and identify times in which you have been traumatized, but especially those times in which you might have been secondarily traumatized by family, friends, clients, that sort of thing. Chapter two is the assessment, the personal assessments. There's uh, two, four, six, seven assessments. Measuring life stress uh, uh, comes from Holmes and Ray's classic measure of the number of, I would call it traumatic events uh, in your life is associated with how um, at risk you are uh, for numbers of things, including just getting sick. <laughs> your, your body is worn down uh, from all the things you've done. So it's important to kind of gather that information Ego resiliency scale, vulner how vulnerable are you to stress, building personal resilience, healthy coping strategies, the other two. Now, all of them um, are useful when you complete the form and then kind of move on from there uh, and into uh, a plan for addressing uh, what the findings are. So that's the personal. The professional is the professional quality of life uh, called ProQual for short. So it's a measure of uh, uh, compassion, satisfaction, compassion, fatigue, and then burnout. Compassion fatigue in these kind of contexts is really secondary traumatic stress reactions. And then checking your basic needs, where you work, the general self-care, you know, generally as a professional, and then body scan to notice any uh, um, unrecognizable, unusual uh, sensations in your body. Often those are associated with the, a traumatic event. Nothing to worry about. It's just simply a reminder that's, as, um, as Vanderkoek talks about, um, the body keeps the score. And that's what this is all about. And so the, the fourth section is toward a resilient person. So it's beginning to enable you to start thinking about yourself and what you have found from this sort of self-analysis, what your, uh, your self-care plan would look like. Um, and then finally, chapter five is the self-care planning tool. So you utilize the self-assessment section, part A is personal and life. You take your findings and then you 
capture what you think uh, is important that you need to attend to uh, in your self-care plan. And then part A, you know, again, personal uh, reflections, and then the other is really uh, how you've dealt with various kinds of stressors and how how resilient are you, in effect, as you look back. And so uh, this is just another element of that to try to work out uh, what the best plan is. So that I think the main thing that's that I'm getting at here is that uh, you need to do some work <laughs> with regard to uh, taking care of yourself. Uh, nobody knows yourself better than you do, but no one kids yourself. <laughs> you know, kids uh, anyone uh, compared to oneself. Uh, we can have uh, the best uh, plans, but if you never carry out the plan, it really doesn't matter. So it's important to, in this exercise then, to be real honest with yourself and uh, admit that there are things that you could do better Oh, time is up. <laughs> so there are things that you could do better. So I hope that this um, this podcast was helpful to you and at least getting your attention to to go and and print out this uh, f- this very valuable uh, document that Kathy mostly has developed that um, I'm hoping to transform into a book or or something that is a bit more interactive and all that, whether it's a book or um, a website exercise. So anyway, um, bless you. Thank you for your work. Um, Being a helper to those who are in trouble, whether they be family members or or clients or or patients, uh, is very, very important work. So thank you for your service. And um, I'll talk to you. I guess I'll talk the next time to you if you choose this series. Go to YouTube and you'll find them all you know, relatively easily, plus other things. So anyway, I hope this is helpful and uh, talk to you in a week.